So let's got it. Let's do the Pledge of Allegiance. We have a flag here. Yeah. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Very good. All right. So, um, I hope everyone's healthy. Nancy Berger said she will not be here. Uh, for the record, uh, she is not feeling that well right now, so she's uh, she's ill. So let's keep her in our thoughts. What is the citizens? That, uh, there was nobody here, um, but we did have um, Jerry, Jerry. Paradis stop by earlier, and so we will discuss that. The, the, that is number five for for new business. Um, approval of prior minutes. Has everybody had a chance to read the prior minute, prior month's minutes? Yeah. Yes. 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 Uh, any comments or, or edits? No? No. Okay. Uh, can I have a motion to approve? Approve. Jim Green makes the motion to approve. Somebody second, second. that, please? Second by Bill Richards. All in favor? So aye. 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 All against? So unanimous. Very good. Okay. Um, I'm most likely this will be a quick, uh, a quick, very quick meeting. Uh, new business, old business. There's nothing really, nothing under old business. But my, my questions, um, we'll deal with that with, with with maintenance and kind of open chair. But so what's going on? But all right, new business. Um, it is that time of year we have to have a chair and a vice chair. So can I have uh, recommendations for for chair and vice chair? And don't everybody stand up at once. I, I make a motion uh, to nominate uh, Jim Norton as chairperson. I second it. Yeah, well, well, okay, fine. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, now we need a vice chair. And I know that everybody's looking the other way. Mark, uh, it is now 609. Mark Bayram just walked through the door. Hello, Mark. Hi, Hi everyone. Sorry. Uh, yeah. We're, we're kind of <laughs> doing this via Zoom. Mark, right. might as well come back over here. One big happy family. Uh, we do need a vice chair. And, and you know, guys, I'm, I'm – I, I, we need somebody. So someone's gonna have to step up, right? I I, so, I make a motion uh, to nominate Gail as vice chair. I'll second that. Gail. Well, I'll do. I'm on one more year, so. Uh, oh my. That's it. I'm on one this year, and then. Uh, oh, I thought you you go one more year beyond that. I'm not sure. I thought it was just this one year, to be honest with you, but oh, I, I, I don't. Just, I don't even. Yeah, 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 I was just out. actually looking at it. Sebi and I are 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 well, we're up for reappointment. Yeah, we're off on January. We're up for reappointment uh January of 25. So, yeah, I, yeah, I'll do it. Okay, very good. I appreciate that. That's great. All right. So, all in favor of Gail uh aye, Amuse, aye. all against aye. unanimous. Aye. Congratulations. Aye. The pay is great, Gail. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is a new member. Um, yeah, Rob. Rob is not here. You know Rob, right? Yeah. So where is he? He's on vacation. Right? Okay. Um. All right. Very. He couldn't call in. Well, I, I don't know. That's your boy, man. I know. He's on vacation. That's all right. Whatever. All right. Uh, par for the course renovation. Sal. I guess this. Uh, this. This is on you, man. What's going on? So uh, just recently talking to Ramsey, um, you know, he, he has realistic plans and he has unrealistic plans and he knows that. So realistic being, you know, at the middle of the summer, he and I will sit down and see what kind of renovation we can do to the outside patio uh, slash tent. So he understands that. He may have to pay, you know, into that as well. So that's a conversation we'll have uh, in the middle of summer and see where, you know, he stands on that and where the town stands on that as well. Um, if we could put some, you know, um, surplus money from this year into that, we'll look into that as well. But what's he looking to do? What I mean, I don't know what 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 are you guys what are you even kicking around? Uh he's thinking more of like a 
a wooden structure there uh, rather than oh, the tent, the a tent temporary meeting? tent that you take off in and out. Um, but in the dining area, he wants to like blow out the wall and have more of like a glass wall, like sliding doors. Um, I mean, if that, I think that project is more like if the clubhouse is getting renovated fully versus just that area getting blown up and getting renovated. So I think the more realistic project would be the outside tent and see if there's something uh, that's a little more permanent. Yeah, I, I saw. Do, do you know um, how much we spend to, to get a tent? So, you know, you got to take that in consideration if, because that tent, uh, we probably replace it, what, every five years or something like that or six years? Because, it, you know. Yeah, I mean, that tent's um, probably at least, you know, about four or five seasons, you know, uh, old. Yeah. Like we yeah. just sent it out for cleaning. It's, it's too grand to get it cleaned and just the sizing of it, you know, changes every year, you know, depending on uh, what the kind shrinkage. of it gets. So. Yeah. So, so what I'm, what I'm saying is, you know, we got to take into consideration all the maintenance that we have, putting it up, mm -hmm. taking it down, putting it up, cleaning it, the whole nine yards and take that, what the expenses are for that. And, you know, put it towards mm -hmm. uh, the, the structure, a permanent right. structure. So, you know, there's there's some gains with with what putting the structure out there. Well, then I, 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 I was in. Go ahead. Go ahead, Sam, I'm sorry. The, the structure is going to cost. Well, we understand what you're saying. The structure is going to cost X, but you're going to say, listen, the net cost is not X. It's X minus Y because of here. Here are the um, annual costs that we have associated with that is what, right. where you're going with right. this. Yes, so it's really exactly. not. So they're saying the structure is going to cost a hundred thousand dollars, and we're spending. It's going to last what, you know, twenty five years or whatever that twenty years it is. There's still maintenance cost involved, but you're saying, on an annual basis, I also have the the, the tent to take down, the cleaning, and the other maintenance that's involved, and I have to reduce it for that. So here's my true net cost is where you're going mm -hmm. with this thing, right? Right. I mean, right. Yep. Yeah. Got it. Understood. Um, I don't think we have any costs for that. Do you have any idea what what we're looking for is for a permanent structure at this point? Well, the one we had in Ellington, it's. It's just really like um, an open area. Uh, there's no doors or anything, and that was around ten grand. Well, that's basically what we have now. You look at something similar to that, or you look at something with a but roof on like it, like a, a wooden enclosure, you know, wooden roof and. Um, okay, still open sides, right? Still open yeah. sides with a wooden roof, right? Mm -hmm. And and how how would you keep? Well, how well he puts a. Does he put air conditioners in there at all? No. 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 Fans. He'll, he'll fans. put fans in there to protect from the rain. You still have to protect it from the elements, right? He has mm -hmm. different things going on. So you have to worry about the elements at that point in time. <clears throat> um, I've seen them with air conditioners or whatever, and, and you have to worry about the animals that, you know, the uh, the birds coming in, you know, and, and, right. and dropping some food and things like that. So, uh, I mean, I, I understand. Which is a big problem to, now. You know, birds. So you can put a, you can put a roof on it. And then you can close it inside, but the but the birds can't get inside. Okay, because he was going to talk to Tommy Peppercorn. Tommy Peppercorn. Yeah, because Tommy, that's what he does roofing. He was going to talk to Tommy. See what the cost of that. Well, you guys, I, I mean, you guys, is he discussing this with the town at this point in time, or is he discussing it with you, Saul? And and right now, just me and him. And like I said, we we agreed on to. To talk about it like around June and July. Um, How about a patio or something like? Is he looking at different types of patios out there with with fire pits or anything like that, or no? That he didn't mention. It was more about um, the the tent area. Got it. Okay. Really need a place after the tournaments to serve the meals. Yeah, yeah. that's the yeah. main. I mean, I mean, he rents it. To, I mean, I know he uses it for showers and you know parties and stuff. But mainly, if you got if there's a big tournament and they're having food, that's where they got to go. So I hope that um, the town would consider um, a more permanent structure, even if it is. You know, we talked about some years ago phasing it. You know, phase one is put up a roof mm -hmm. and and supports, but maybe in future phases you could you know enclose it and air condition it and 
but that's down the road if the town yeah, right. is willing to spend some money. But again, well, if, I mean, if, if we make yeah. 100K every year, like we've been doing, <laughs> we put that into it. You know, you could get the darn thing done in a few years. And I think if once we get the roof up, then we can put the sides in. Because the sides, you can still use the plastic. Yeah. As long as you got the roof, you can drop the plastic on the side. It's so, not like uh, Tungsys does that. You know, they roll it yeah. up and they bring it back down. So, Sal, do you want to think about creating a, maybe a, a phased-in plan for him? Sure, I know. Uh, I know Jerry has one already, so I'll touch base with him. Yeah, he was, he was developing that a long time ago. Yeah. So I'll touch base with them and see if we could re-engage those plans. And um, I'll bring it up in the next meeting. Okay. Can you increase the volume on your laptop? Can I? Yeah. Would you? Sure. Please. Um. How's that? You there? Okay. Um, golf shop. What's what's that all about? Well, the golf shop, you know, thank you, Mark, for being patient. Um, I'm sure we all read the emails, the email chain on it. Um, I, for one, am okay yeah. with the changes, knowing, you know, what yeah. Mark went through and the changes that he had to go through. Um, talking to him about it, you know, he's obviously uh, thinking for – his future and his shop's future. So I'm um, I'm okay to just see how it goes and and go from there. I don't think anybody has a problem with that. I mean, it's, uh, you know, we're, we're going to, um, how can I say this? Uh, we're going to take a wait and see approach, right? I mean, I, there's obviously uh, not a lot. I understand what Mark's coming from because it's a financial burden on himself, right? Um, there's got to be lead time for, to get those things too, right? What's the lead time? About two months, a month? Yeah, I mean, it should, I could probably have mid April. Okay. I think. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Maybe early April. And well, yeah, I, I, I think it's going to be a learning process too. Because, yeah, I mean, uh, just from my own personal experience, I went down to Florida for a month and, and when anything go wrong, it did. And, and it just, you know, so it, it, I look, it was a trial run. Let's just say that much. And, and it, it just, it, Listen, we're going to learn from our mistakes. Yeah. And I think you will. So. Well, I, I saw something interesting, and I don't know exactly what your machine is going to look like, Mark, but in one of the uh, gas stations that we stopped on our drive here, it was self service in that you put the items. There was a clerk back there, but she didn't do anything. There was a pad, and above it was a bar. And you put the items down because everything has a barcode. So I bought a bag of chips and some waters. And the bar above it scanned it. And I put my credit card in, paid, I bagged it, and left. I thought that was, I had never, you know, I know they do it at the grocery stores, but I hadn't seen it in a convenience store on a smaller scale. It was kind of interesting. I guess my question is, what do you see being the negative impact on the town of Burr? Because, I mean, a, that, that's the big thing. I mean, I can run my business kind of any way I want, right? does what i don't want it to negatively impact the town so how do you see it doing that my, my my only question on that would be um a machine you know, machine failure between machine failure and, and human error and, and it's, it's bound to happen which that's that's fine but that'd be like Ramsey's vending machine that would be either type thing if they have a contact, you know, man, he's right there, right? So, so this, he doesn't have a vending machine, does he? Yeah, yeah, he's got one I'll outside. So, the soda machine outdoors. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, so somebody's there. Okay, not always. I mean, early in the morning, there's not somebody there. Got it. Okay. Well, I'm just saying, like, we have I'll to just... obviously trial and error, but I, I mean, obviously, I'm going to make good on it if something happens. You know, yep. I'm going to have contact information. I'll put my business cards right there. And again, this isn't, I still think it's important that we have the golf shop available during this busy time. So there's that interaction with a person, but I'm just gearing it towards where it's not. Historically, we haven't made a lot of sales throughout this time that I'm going to have vending available. Got it. So what are you going to do as far as, one more second, Jim. Are you going to have merchandise out there 
or no? There'll be no no merchandise out if there. If there's any merchandise out there, it will be covered. It will be unavailable. It okay. won't even be nobody grab it or anything. If, that's a, a two yeah. week market. That's what I was worried about publishing. No. Oh yeah, I'm it, not going to leave that, everything out there because I also don't want to put Saul's staff in a bad position where somebody yeah. goes up with something and then he tells Just sit, them, you know, okay. can't do it. All right. so, okay. Nothing will during those times. The only thing available will be vending. Invisible will be vending. So, okay. so the clothes will be covered. They'll either be covered or stored away to where when my staff gets there, okay. they'll that's their first job is to put out roll it out and do whatever you got to do. Okay. No, no, your staff are coming. So during the busy busy time, like because they have leads and stuff like that, they'll so someone to come in maybe from one to six? Yeah, that was my plan. One to kind of a one to six where one to two would be set up. 5 30 to 6 kind of break down and i'm going to make it easy enough you know and obviously i'm going to have to learn along the way too but also friday to sunday evening it's going to be fully open like okay. saturday morning is going to be open at 6 30. got it, yeah. Got it. You know, okay there will be somebody staff there it is really day mornings yes yeah that it's just unnecessary to have somebody there. sure you know it makes you, sense somebody wants something on a weekday morning it's typically balls gloves or tees Got it. Those will be available. Yeah. So, okay. Fair we'll enough. See how it goes. All you right. Know. Uh, and listen, that then, you know, do we have to vote on this? You know, if if we do, then you know, I'll, I'll make a motion right now to you know accept Mark as the vending machines and and go forward, and we'll we'll just you know we'll just see how. I, I, I'm wondering why. Why do we have to vote on it? I'm sorry. You why don't do have, we have to vote, vote on it. We no, we don't do we. Oh, no, you don't have to. We just. Making sure everyone's uh, positive, okay. thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, very good. good. So we did talk about it. We talked it through, and yeah, you know what? Well, listen, you have got our blessing. You might guess. All right. I'll tell you. What, for right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna skip on number four. I'm gonna go to five, only because I don't want to forget this. I've gotten a couple of phone calls on this. We have to make a motion to uh, accept. Um, a men's club donation of a certain amount. I'm not sure of the amount. Twenty five hundred bucks was it? Was it twenty five hundred dollars? Saw. Yes. Yep. Twenty five hundred. Uh, twenty five hundred dollars for a um, uh, the goosenator for a uh, a new cart, correct? Or or is a a re is it a rebuild? Well, I don't know what it is, but it's a um, 2018 cart um, that's uh, offered to us for. Five thousand dollars in exchange for the old goosenator. So they're going so, to cannibalize that thing, or they're they're taking that away, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And then so, where's the rest coming from? The rest is coming from a CIP. Or um, if I have space in, um, a main internal repair. If you have so, space so. In the maintenance. Okay, whatever. You'll figure that one out. Um, I'll make a motion to to accept the donation. Well, oh, oh, I, I I got a question. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Um, when would we get the goose the new goosenator? Is it, will we get it in the next month or so? Or you know, I mean, before, the, before the, card, up? the card is ready. Um, I just have to see if finance is going to make me go through town council, and if they do, I have to wait for that. Yeah, because but that that's a point that we get. We get it as quickly as possible because I know the 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 birds come out and they uh, yeah. you know get their nest out there and everything like that. So you know Peter I know goes, Peter goes Peter goes out early in the in the season to to you know get rid of them. Peter so, knows that any card we have is available to him right now. Okay. Um, so yeah, but the, the, the problem is not the card. Is it's, it has to be retrofitted to fit that thing? So there's a. Yeah. So let's just say, listen, we'll make a mo I'll make a motion to accept it. Um, the, the donation with with the uh, understanding that the that the, uh, the rest of the the other twenty five hundred dollars didn't come from CIP or OE. Can somebody second that, please? I second it. Seventy second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All against? Unanimous. Very good. That takes care of that one. All right. So that's that's over and done with. You can contact Jerry. Jerry came here with a check earlier today, Saul. Um, he was going to give it to me. I said, I, I don't know what to do with it. I don't, I don't want to accept it because I, you know, I, I, I can't hold it, right? I think, do you have a 24-hour rule where you, where you have to deposit a check also? That's no, I, you guys in the 
I was in contact with Jerry Paradis today, and I told him that if we could meet on Monday. All so, right. Well, then, then, you, guys, then. you can take care of that. Yeah. That's on you. Okay. Um, there's a thing here. It's, it's, it's called Governance for Future Donations of Ventures and Plants. And, um, you know, I just came back from, from – um, Florida, I was in Jacksonville, and I was on a golf course today, and, you know, not today, but even yesterday, and I noticed that um, they stand, they're trying to standardize a lot of different things, and, and, and I've been a proponent of this for a long time. One of it is, um, the, you know, the benches. I mean, let, let's standardize what we have. It, it's starting to look like a, a, a cemetery. I, I hate to say it, you know, there's no other word for it. You know, everybody puts up whatever they want, and there's no guidance or... Um, or rules for, for, for people as far as, you know, the type of bench, what, you know, what they're going to put up, you know, I like this. It looks great. Well, th that's great. Th you know, and, and I'm not knocking anybody for doing that in, in, in a memoriam for, for what they're doing. Cause I think it's great. But in the same token, you want to, you know, so you want somebody else to do somebody else. So then what's the next one? You know, I'm going to have a big, you know, facade here or something like that. It just looks, I mean, we're a golf course, right? And, and we are, we're a town golf course. And so, you know, I think we're kind of losing perspective of that. So if we do something like this, what I'm trying to say is let's standardize what we're doing. And when we do a bench, you know, it's not just the bench. It's, it's the, the, the clearing of, the, of the, uh, the area. It is the leveling of the area. It is the, the pavers underneath. It's the maintenance. It's for potentially future maintenance, too. And do you leave them out year-round? You know, if it's treks with, with stainless steel... And that's what I saw down south, even though it's a different type of weather, but it's still treks. Now, we have treks. Phil and I have treks furniture. And uh, that we bought from, you know, I'm not going to say who we're from, but a long time ago. And we didn't leave it out year-round. And guess what? It looks just as good as the first day we had. You know, and, and it's, you know, it's been through the snowstorms, right? Every snowstorm is sitting outside. So it's just something to start thinking about. And it, this is... How we need to start approaching things, right? Because it's it's it's, caught, it's maintenance. It's, yeah, it's and pulling it out, it putting it in, and, and Jerry's actually said, "Well, you know, I'm, I'll build a platform for it." Well, time that that's not you building a platform for it. This is time taking you away from doing something else, you know. And and so if you do it, then it, then you know either you outsource the whole thing, or or they're going to have to pay for that because some you know th there's a uh, you know a cost benefit of, for for doing that, you know, and, and it's, it's taken away from others you know they're, they're working on the course that they're doing things that need to be done so right so i mean it's just you talk about standardization. So I, I have a and suggestion so if someone's going to do something on the course they're either going to approach jerry mark or saul or all three of them whatever now that we've had this discussion and i'm guessing the consensus is some kind of standardization that if i any of those individuals are approached or if we're ever approached, we just bring it back to this group for um, for approval. That, that, that's Gail, you hit the nail on the head because you're right. The approval process should not be one person over there. Correct. It should not be Jerry. It should not be Mark. If anybody, Correct. it should be Saul. And Saul should bring it to Art. So yeah, fine. what I'm doing is make, make a proposal now. And, and if that happens, then, you know, I'm, and they do, they go to Jerry or, or Mark and, and don't take this the wrong way. Don't. It's not personal. No. then you know what i'm sorry it doesn't work that way you know what i mean i don't care that you bought this thing it it's on you it, it comes to the group it goes to saul and he'll filter it down okay. I, I know no i know i listen i, I know yeah. no mark i, I understand yeah. that no i get i understand it, it, but it, it, I, to what gail is saying it, right, it's yeah. true and that's why you have a director involved right and that's why you have a commission yeah. which you know it should, yeah. should come to the group and then plus when you put something there it should be maintained free yeah. Okay. Yeah. But if you're gonna put something out there, make sure it's maintained free, so you don't right. have to sure. take care. Of it. Sure. Okay. And, and, yeah. And and the trees. I mean, Sal. And I, I know this is, um, you know, a lot right now. But the same token, it's just, you know, certain people want trees donated, right? And and it's great. But if you look at some of the plaques that they have under those trees, are you can't even find them anymore. Exactly. Yeah, they're all and, and it's crazy. So, I mean, I don't have the answer right now. I don't. I don't. I really don't. But it's something that we need to to look at and maybe we need to talk to the men's club, the senior men's club, the, 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 the women's, the senior women's and the lady niners and, and the 18 holders and, and say, listen, you know what? I mean, get their thoughts on something like this. 
rather than just putting a tree up over here, over here haphazardly, you know, and, and then you're going to cut it down. You're going to say, listen, if this is, it doesn't make sense. You know, I'll be dead by then, right? Half of us will all be dead by then, but you're going to cut it down. And you're going to say, wait a minute, that's a hundred thousand dollar tree you're cutting down, right? I mean, it's like, but, but, <laughs> but I'd recommend just that <clears throat> papers from now on, instead of a figure and trying to figure out, a bench here, a bench there, a monument over there, a tree there. Just have standardized on a paper, which is engraved with some a memory of or something like that. Yeah, and and that's what Pete brought up last. Well, he was talking show. about that once we put the clock in, and that's a different. Yeah. I, that's that's different, but I, I understand. What it's saying. different, but right instead of going haphazard or shotgun. But but Mike, do just, I look? Just say. Oh, it, Good. Try to make a policy that says, okay, here's what's allowed. Well, that's what we're trying to do. And, yeah, and standardize yeah. some of the stuff. Because do it. Yeah. if somebody wants to put a bench on a hole that doesn't have a bench, well, that's fine. I can understand that. Right. But you, you look at the bench on hole, uh, what is it, 12. I mean, that thing is all crusted over with uh, lichens and things. But these things got to be maintained. Like yeah. Said. Right. I mean, it's really got to be cleaned up. But the way I see it, you know, it, it, it's a problem because, like, you know, you got 18 holes, okay? So everybody wants to put something somewhere, and that's maintenance. You got to take care of it. I mean, they got to come up with another solution. Uh, like I said, around the clock. You want to put a plaque up around the clock to, to, for this person? Fine, because, like like I said, you put a tree out there, that's maintenance. Yep. So you got to eliminate a lot of that. That's what I well, once you have 18, 18 benches, you're done, right? So, so right. The, first, the first 18 through the door, get the benches, right? Right. And, uh, right? That, that, listen, that's just the way. I, I don't mean to be light on it, but that's just the way it is. Right? Yeah. I don't think you'll life. ever get – you have you have a couple benches out there now. I don't think you're going to get 10 or 12 more benches. No, I, you, I agree with you. Time on this I mean, commission. Someone says, yeah, you know, where I'm, you know where I'm going with that, right? Well, but, just, the, but the other thing is, like, the packs that you put up there to, for the, the, the – um, for people who sponsor – I mean, you could put a name on there and say, you know, I'm down below underneath. Well, and, and like they, and, well, they, they want that, you know, well, if someone's going to make a donation, you know, and, and, and we haven't figured out a price for a, right. for a plaque or anything like that yet, but memory up, but, you know, but someone may want to make a substantial donation or something like that. You, yeah. you never know, you know, right? You know, I don't know. So, yeah, Sebi. Yeah, you know, maybe we should do something like they have down in the town hall uh, atrium. Where they, you know, you go to the right there and they have all the uh, pictures of the person that was in the service. All right. So maybe that's a thing that we might want to have inside the clubhouse, you know, uh, a video uh, where it goes and tells you about the person and, you know, uh, shows a picture of the person rather than having all this other stuff. And then it's, it, it's, in, it's in the clubhouse. Oh, so like calling hours at a funeral home. Huh? Oh, sorry, I didn't hear that. Or like calling hours at a funeral home. No, now the video's going. You know, you know no? I, I don't know. I, I'm just saying, you know, uh, you know, because that's a nice indoors. touch they have down at the town hall. No, I try, but it's indoors. We're talking something outdoors now. But with the with the, with the men's club, we got the, the new TV up there. You can put that on the TV. I mean, oh. I like the idea of like a memorial wall where you can just a plaque. buy okay. a plaque that goes on it. There you go. And I mean, there's plenty of places on the course that you could put something like that, like on a team. That's an idea too. Yeah. I mean, I, it's, you know, I mean, it, Sal, I, I'm, I'm going to throw this on you, but maybe, uh, you know, maybe talk to the four different groups and get, 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 the, get a feeling for something like that, you know, and, and I'll walk, I'll go with you if you don't mind, you know, but that way you don't get killed. Ooh. You know, that you can say I'm the bad guy. But it's something to think about. We can definitely move towards that. I mean, the la in our last meeting, someone said there was, um, like, you can buy the bricks off the back uh, back of the clubhouse, you know, in that area. Um, yeah. But we can definitely reach out to the different clubs we have and see where, where they're at. Sure. Okay. I mean, the only ones who really have donated last year were the ladies, you know, the, like for the course, like a tree or uh, or whatnot, you know, the men's club donated I mean, something physical. Sorry, but... I'll tell you right now, certain individuals want trees. What's that? 
Yeah, well, it's a living memorial. So. Yeah, well, so, until it dies. Yeah, well, that's I a popular that. one, right? A tree, so. Yeah, tree. and perhaps, yeah. again, you could have a few things. So, I mean, a tree that maintenance agrees should be placed there and Saul feels it should be placed there because it's small and it doesn't take maintenance, whatever. And, you, you know, say somebody does want a tree, it could benefit that maybe there's a place that's appropriate for a tree. I just don't think yeah, people no, should no, no. be able to I pick mean, their own. <laughs> there needs to be some controls on it. So we say, okay, you want a tree? We're recommending, we as the golf pro the director of golf and the maintenance recommend you get this kind of tree in this location that me memorializes the person and the same with the bench if all the benches look the same it's nice to have a bench when you're waiting to tee off you know we don't have benches yeah. on all the different tees so it's nice to have a yeah, bench they can put a water fountain out there for like here it, it doesn't really matter but again this comes back to the same thing that that you know was asked of jerry many years ago that you need a plan you need a 50 year a 25 year plan to think about this stuff, you know, and you're putting a tree here and you're right. It's, you know, a certain caliper, right? What What's the minimum caliper you want to put up there? Is it a two, a two, three inch, five inch? I, I don't know. You know what I mean? But this is this is what, the type of tree that you're looking at, you know, deciduous versus evergreen or, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah so it sounds uh, that, to that's me. What, that's, 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 that's where we have to be going towards on something like yeah. this. So it sounds to me we have a consensus that you know, the director of golf will oversee, uh, filter, whatever you want to call it, any uh, request for donations for items to the course and bring them to the group. And then we do it on a case by case basis. We get two or three a year, the most. I, I got no idea, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very good. All right. Nice. All right. Uh, six project status update. So. We right. have, uh, go ahead. So, so, this is I, on you um, again. I went over some of it in my report, but for the bridge, uh, right now we're dealing with um, uh, the engineering company helping us out for the uh, scope of service. So I emailed everyone their proposal earlier today. I'm not sure if everyone saw it, but it's really uh, mm -hmm. their assignment is to really help us go through all the permits, get all the proper permits, and um, assist with the scheduling of uh, the results of the bridges. Um, they haven't given us a timeline on the, you know, for the time for their service and how long it's gonna take. So we're waiting on that, but that's the road that we're gonna take um, according to Mike Ahern, who is our uh, town engineer. So deep is already, Signed off on your stuff. Uh, this is this scope of service is gonna go through, go into it with deep. Okay, and the, the bridges that we're looking at, and 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 forgive me if we, you you've already gone through this thing. Um, what type of bridge are you looking at? Are you looking at a metal bridge with bumpers on the side? I mean, what what are we looking at now? We're looking the at concrete, the, the, the concrete, concrete right? bridges. Uh, I think it was maybe two meetings ago. I I gave everyone a diagram. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, so it's it's concrete bridges with, uh, with bumpers on it. They're not railings like for walking bridges because there's no, there's really no standard for <laughs> those size bridges. Um, yeah. But there will be like some sort of barrier to stop carts from going, obviously. So. Um, Done. Okay. <laughs> I think the, the last part of it is really going through this uh, process of going through and getting the permits uh, because we're in the floodplain. And uh, once those are figured out, uh, you know, we still see it breaking ground. So, How many bridges are we uh, looking at to replace? Seven. Seven. Oh, seven. 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 Yeah. I didn't read that. yeah. I mean, all the all funding right. called for. It's really just getting the funding here, and getting started. You have the funding, though, right? Yeah, it's it's all called for. I mean, in all these different expenditure lines, but no. So, would the seven bridges get completed this year? I mean, and 
my newsletter that's coming out, I predict it to be happening starting in the second half of the season. So I, I don't think so. All right. Was, was, it, was it going to be affecting the tournaments and stuff like It'll that? It'll affect everything. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, that. Well, no, you get some free relief when your ball goes in there. So you're lucky <laughs> with that. No, I mean, the. <laughs> Obviously, we're conscious of like there's a, there's a special Jimmy Green rule, like, like that one with the other bridge. He kept hitting. <laughs> it looked like the Green Monster hit that ball so many times. <laughs> the Brown um, Monster Bridge, that's what we call it, man. So I, I have a question. Uh, the proposal that says replace seven bridges at uh, 50k each. That comes more than the 300 uh, funding mm -hmm. level. Yeah. So, so where's the rest of the money coming from? Well, no, we have already 50 in the kidney. Got it. Okay. So in total, it's 352. 360. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Thanks. The 50 is from, uh, was from last year's budget that's still okay. there. Yeah. Okay. Good. You, you Thank know, you. Hey, Sal, just, just a, uh, you know, from personal experience, um, you know it's going to go higher because uh, there's always things that, that change, right? You, you better factor is 10 10 percent. The, uh, the actual, I mean, when right now I'm I'm predicting it to be like maybe 180 to build, and then maybe like 120 for labor. So what is that? Maybe around 300, 310? 300. That's so 300. hopefully the 350 is enough. <laughs> okay. Well, that, that's on the town. That's not on us, right? Uh, the Our low SIP money is called for, like, not just for our project, but there's another project already into it. So we'll have to really think hard of getting some more money but i we we all think it this is a good number for the project and um even you know the finance team and the engineer in town you know thinks we're right on the money so all right so you're gonna fight your fight you're fighting for funds basically correct i it yeah. sounds like more like getting the proper permits and um okay going through the that process okay now how about the bunkers what what, what, what do we say with the bunkers so and we're don't, don't discuss it first of all there's no don't discuss any dollar figures right yeah i mean the it's, uh insurance proceeds it doesn't really matter because that's foia um money so it doesn't really matter i mean anybody can find out how much you got from that one that's irrelevant no um but, we have a company U.S. Pitch Care that we met with about a month or so ago, they'll be the first to give us uh, their um, proposal that had that reflects on taking bunkers out. Our our only request for them at this point is to not go so deep on taking bunkers out and only take out bunkers that are like literally out of play and should be taken out. Um, if it's questionable to them, we told them to not touch it and, until, uh, you know, we have our all our proper meetings. But I was having to have, have it by tonight, but I don't. Um, once I do, I'll forward it to everyone to look at. Um, in that proposal, you'll see, obviously, um, a history of, of their team and the people that's working for them. Um, but also, you'll see blueprints on a whole by whole basis where you may take a bunker out or you may reshape a bunker and resod um and you'll see where the drainage is going um so it's a it's a nice elaborate blueprint and we're excited for you guys to see it once we get it now the, the, that um proposal that has that been you know if, if we look at that that cannot be shared with anybody else, correct? Um, because if that's I don't know they have to do that, Jim. The last time I said that, I was wrong. <laughs> so yeah, right. That's part of the RFP that went out. That 
is that you're using to bitch from certain people. You cannot right. share that with us, right? You I mean, can't share I, that with us. Maybe the and, and because the monetary value somehow or another that would end up with everybody else, right? I mean, so you don't unless until that you get to a point where all the proposals are in, right? Just about, yeah. Once they're in, it doesn't matter, and you make your decision. Then, then, then it's fair game at that point in time so after your negotiations. Should we have something to do with them? Should we bid on that? Well, we, we should have some. We actually, you know, see, that conversations. Is, right? you've, we you also, saw, right? you because saw, right? you've came when that went out to bid, you were able to go down to the office and check all the proposals yeah, after they came in. After, yeah. after they came in. So, are all the proposals in yet? Let me ask you that. So I would say after this last one, we would have a proposal from three companies. Okay, so you've got three proposals in. Have you guys made this? Um, has anybody made a decision yet on, on which one they're going to go with? No. Okay, so one way around this is you can we can look at the proposals. Um, however, you would want to have draft something that every one of us would sign that we would not. Um, share this information with anybody else other than people on the committee. And, mm -hmm. uh, I, no, that's what you, I'm, I'm, yeah. you think I'm kidding with you. I'm getting honest with you. I had to do that too, yeah. right? We had a $50 million. It, this, is, this is it. You, should, yeah. you know, I can't discuss it with anybody sure. outside of the committee. And that's the way that's it should fine. be. So either we, we um, create a special meeting that we're all going to meet and discuss this thing. That's one way. But you're right. It, it, it's it's it, it's an effect in an NDA. You can talk to Arosha about that and, and mention that to him also. All right. That anything we have is considered confidential until such time that, that it, it is uh, awarded. I have my monthly meeting with Arosha on Tuesday. Uh, yeah. By then, we should have this, you know, proposal from U.S. Pitch Care and. I'll talk to him about it, and because at that time we could also start talking about funding with him. So, um, okay. yeah, we'll go from there. Very good. Are you still talking about capillary concrete? Are you see, are you still you're still going with capillary? Yes, sir. Okay. Right. And when when would they actually start? The end of the beginning of fall or so? Right, the middle of the summer. Well, that was for bridges. I would say I would say anywhere from middle to second half of the year. Again, we're just want to make sure play doesn't get um, interrupted too much to where obviously our tournaments, but you know, our numbers are hit. So we have to be strategic on it. And I'm really curious to see how our bunkers will come out, you know, in the next couple of weeks. So we'll go from there. All right. Uh, mainly a schedule. Well, you want to go over the rest of his report uh, while we're in here? No, 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 we'll wait, we'll wait for the end. Okay. I actually have uh, uh, on my desk in the office, I actually had a, a calendar where there's notes, and I was going to e email to everyone, but I'll I can talk about it here, um, and go from there if you want. So, okay, the week starting the fourth, I'm talking about March. Uh, we expect our not nine month blue collars to come back. Um, we're going to start to blow out all the playing areas and greens for debris and uh, get the courts ready for top dress and spray for the next couple weeks. <clears throat> um, week of the 11th, uh, continue, continue to clean and prep course. Uh, we need, we're also going to eliminate some of the old stumps that we left behind over the winter. So we're going to clean those out. Uh, we're going to start to get into bunkers that week to cultivate the soil or the sand to uh, see if we need to add or how much we need to add. And then, uh, again, just cleaning out the loose limbs and tree parts. So just in case we open in the next couple of weeks, the course is ready for play. So what, what that, that, That's actually a very interesting point. When are you looking at opening day? Uh, what, what are you thinking? I, I'm thinking more like Friday the 22nd. Um, but if, wow. but I told that, the guys that's, that's a long way out. That is long. The earliest would probably be the fifteenth, Friday the fifteenth. I know it's weather dependent, but uh, you know, once one course opens, I'm telling you right now, there'll be a uh, a lot of pressure. 
And, you know, I mean, we had to pressure certain individuals to, to, to push things ahead the previous years. And I'm just, I'm, and I know you're new to the game, but, you know, April 1st is, I'm going to be honest with you, that's out of the question. That, that's just, that's foolishness. If we could open up in March, mid March, that you know, depending on the, the, the course well, condition, then great. then that's it. And it's it's the sooner the better because it's it's you're gonna lose out. You're gonna lose out big time. Did I yeah, say I could point? tell I, I I can tell you right now that Portland is, is open, taking tea times, Texas is taking tea times. Um and I don't know about Stanley right now. But I know Portland and Texas are you know Stanley probably opening within the next two weeks. I'm will I'll tell you that right now. They're gonna open within the next two weeks, they're gonna open up. So April first is you know what, that's one of the typical things that was said previous years too. Let's just call it what it is. You know, when we didn't even want to open up when everybody else was open. Well we're, the, we're gonna ruin the greens. Well no, no we're not. It's just so that's you know, that one's off the table. I just want to repeat. I said March fifteenth or March twenty-two. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't think I, I said April one, but yeah, I, I get it. Yeah, twenty-second though is a long way out. Yeah, he said. Yeah, he said. He said the twenty-second. Well, it all yeah, depends on weather too. I mean, I th I think <laughs> to be honest with you, Jim, if if we're gonna get seventy-five degree weather in the next two weeks, you know. Sal will, will, will revisit the, the opening date. So okay. I, I think we we got to wait and see what the weather is going to be like, too. Oh, no, no. I get Listen, I get it. You have a freak snowstorm, right? Yeah. Um, it's, but it's first, of course, it's very saturated. So we'll see yeah, how it is yeah. next week, and we'll go from there. You oh, know? Yeah. oh, yeah. Okay. Do we Are we going to have, have uh, metrics going forward? With uh, with maintenance, as far as you know, okay, I'm gonna um, do the traps. You know, what three or four times a week? They say three times a week, or rake them three times a week, or we can develop a certain uh, speed for the greens. I definitely plan on having more of a monthly schedule with them, to where okay. you know they'll tell me their weekly duties and see where things fall, uh, such as you know raking bunkers and mowing greens and we're trying to roll more this year so you know with their monthly schedule hopefully we get a better base on you know what they're doing out there uh in regards to did you say like pace of the greens yeah the, the, the speed of the i played i played greens um they were the the, the um head of maintenance put something out there they were 12.6 they put this up out every week how fast they are I think Ellington Ellington does that, right? Do they really? <clears throat> Don't they have the uh, speed of the green in the pro shop or something? Right there outside the pro oh, shop, yeah. usually. Um, right, yeah. I'm planning yeah. on having like this uh, A-frame chalkboard by the starter that has some informa daily information, so maybe we could put it there. That'd be pretty. You know what, I mean, that's yeah. the stupid little things that mean a lot. They really do. Yeah, a little chalkboard or yeah. something. You know. We have a stem. I mean, I know Zook did, but I don't know if we still do. Step meter. We're like a fifteen, yeah, right? So, yeah. No, <laughs> we have. We have I don't know about that. Well, <laughs> Our greens would be. I thought it was fifteen and a half. Yeah, like, you, know, <laughs> you can actually have some fun with that called Velcro, right? I mean, that's what they were like. Sounds good. Take six hours. Right. We get. Uh, well, this is not the fourteen. We can so definitely look into that. <laughs> Just, 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 you know, out there for discussion. That's all. All right, P and L twenty five. You know, again, I, I put this stuff. I, I can't even read it. So yeah, I, I had a hard time with it. We knew we know that there's no money coming in these couple of months. We know that I, have, I have a question on the P and L. Is that through January thirtieth or not? So. Um, I don't think February is in that one, gal. Yeah, I didn't. I, I didn't. It says it. Well, it says January. It says January. Yeah. Yeah. The, so the for one twenty nine twenty four. So that includes all of January, correct? 
Yep. All right. That's why my only it. other my only other question on that is when you look at the one that says uh, <clears throat> budget versus actual, and you have the budget amended column, there's just a couple that don't match the other sheet, the the water and sewer the 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 amended it looks like they reverted back to the adopted budget so i would just have you look at that so you're clear on what the budget is there because you got two different numbers for water and sewer and internet service under budget i know um our water sewer numbers are inflated right now uh so maybe that's a well i'm talking about budget i'm not no, talking no, about no, like we've used all our budget already. So maybe that's a number that I have to ask him to see how accurate it is. Um, Cause we had to like tap into like internet, you know, to move some funds over to it. So I'll yeah, ask you can, I understand you move. So let that's what leads another question. So when you move <laughs> funds, does that change the line item budget? It should update, yes. Sure. Okay. Yeah, sure. So if you move, yeah. okay, I, I wasn't sure how that. So you move money from one line to another line, it's going right. to change the budget. The those respective lines, yes. Okay. All right. Thanks. Right. Because it, yeah, I had I had questions about electricity forty one hundred dollars for January. There's nobody there. Well, if I need the place. And well, that's natural gas. That's five grand. Seems exorbitant, and again, the water and sewer, as you pointed out, yeah, four thousand five hundred for that month. It's many flushes. There's nobody there. <laughs> yeah, no, we're, we're, right. we're, we're, we're having a problem with a, with a leak, I think, and it's not just us. Sage Park also has one, and their numbers were inflated, so we're going through the due diligence to see if we have a leak and getting new meters around the clubhouse. So. What kind of a leak? Our city line, uh, which is the clubhouse, the water fountains, and the maintenance bathrooms. Oh, and oh, you mean a water right now, a right? water leak? Shut off. Yeah. The water the water shut off to all those things. But the only thing that, that should have water right now would be the clubhouse, part of the clubhouse, right? And then mm -hmm. uh the maintenance shop, right? Mm -hmm. Everything else is shut down. Yeah, no, it didn't just really happen really now. It was happening. Anywhere. It's been happening. So we're actually curious to see what our numbers are, you know, for this period of the time where, like you say, nothing's going on. So, yeah, I saw if you have a leak, you would think it would be before the meter. Well, the thing is, Debbie, our meter is like a mile into the woods. It's not next to the clubhouse. Really? Anymore. Okay. It's not like a house meter. Where, yeah. You know, so we're. We're trying to switch, get them to put a meter at the clubhouse and at the maintenance building so it's a little more accurate because yeah. say that leak is in that one mile span where it has nothing to do with us. You know, we're I, I so well. Meter, yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize the meter That's was that far out. <laughs> yeah, it, it's so far out. So. Wow. It was a Friday meter. State put it on a Friday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After the payday. Thursday payday. Right yeah, right. You all know that. <laughs> um, anything else? All right. Uh, open discussion. Anybody comments from anybody? Yep. Yes, sir. Mr. Richards. I would like to see, and I ran this by the uh, executive board at the senior league. They like to see those those rubber baskets at, at the uh, end of the the stick going into the hole. <laughs> <laughs> on every hole. Those old guys can't reach out and pick it up. Well, could it'll probably ruin the hole more if you do that than just lifting up the stick. Well, didn't what was it? Didn't you guys look at that song? Um, we talked about that. Yeah, but, no, but we you, talked about it. Yeah. But I, nothing yeah. was done. We're okay to and put it back. I, um, <clears throat> we didn't I think recall, it caused damage. Yeah, I recall Saul saying he was going to try it out on a couple of holes. Yeah. Didn't see that happen. So I'd like to see it, you know, and when they're putting the stick in for the first time this year, is that it's in there. Everyone's good with it. Can we do that? 
can we do it on a test basis, like do it on the front nine and see how that works out? And if it works out fine, then just do it on the back nine. Well, what's your hesitation? We, we I said don't, it doesn't damage the hole. We do. I think a couple no, we don't. We didn't say that because I said they, they. I think they said it did damage the hole. No, that was why they were taken off. But then in the consensus, it, it was stated <laughs> that it, it didn't damage the hole in any way. If anything, it protected the hole. Rather than people sticking their club in. I there think they were put in it. because originally because they wanted cold. to protect the hole. That's why it was COVID it. originally. Well, those were like no, those and other stuff and everything. But the trays at the bottom, you talk about the trays that just go to the bottom of the stick. When you pull yeah. the hole out, it's yeah. better than putting your hand in there. And Got it. it. Okay. Uh -huh. I think that was the theory. I don't know how it worked out. Yeah. <clears throat> but people like it. Oh, they'd rather have that thing that pops it right up at you. Man. Are you kidding me? Yeah, but that's yeah. yeah. like a was thing, thing comes the thing was, up. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah. The little rod gets in your way. The suction cup on the back. Uh, yeah, the that's like you're going to like that's it if you miss. That's what we got to write this. And um, the driving range net. Are we going to put one in? So, what's your, what's your phasing plan for the range? And time on a meeting. What's going on? Trying to get someone to come in here to look at it. Uh, I know uh, I reached out to someone before I left for vacation, so I'll reach out again. But the plan is to have it there in that area between the 18th and the range and uh, somewhere in the top right where the bunker is because still want to do a chipping area there for the bunker So. The bunker's going to get renovated there as well. Okay. All right. And uh, it, back a couple of years ago, we talked about a, a dump truck and a tractor, but that's out. That's I don't out. think any, anything happened. That's out. The dump truck is so, not needed. I mean, the dump truck money is still out. available. I started talking to the Board of Finance <clears throat> to see if I could use that money to buy a, um, a 2019 greens mower. Um, they suggested that um, I have to see what finance says about it. I have a quote for around you know, $28,000 for a used 2019 John Deere mower. So we, I'm trying to move fast on it uh, because it's, uh, you know, obviously we're not the only ones that's probably looking at it, but we're trying to move fast and, and get a, an answer from finance. So. That would also mean there's still a little money in the pot for for that uh, dump truck and what we call the CNR fund. So hopefully I could use some of that to get a new range picker as well because that thing's on its last legs. So. A dump truck, realistically, a dump truck is not needed because oh. if you think no, about no, it, that, I mean, it, the dump truck will be used for a used greens mower if we get yeah, what we need. Exactly. That's fine. That money doesn't get lost. Uh, Jim, the only thing I have. He wants to know if they're going to still put a sign up where it says Timlin when you come to the restaurant. Oh, that's down below? Down below. He wants um, to know if they're still going to put a sign up there. Right um, now, Jimmy, we're going to put his sign up by where he parks. Um, no, no. Oh, 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 where, 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 where he parks his car. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. Tell you the truth, I haven't looked into changing the front entrance sign. I feel like that's a big project, but... Uh, we can't just add a, a sign. I know there is. I know they're from the engineering of the town. You can't have you can't have two signs. Like, does that make sense? There's like a regulation okay. for it. So maybe we could update the sign to where his sign goes more in like the flower bed versus something that's concrete and metal. But we're definitely going to put his sign up by there in the parking lot. The one that's been missing for a couple of years, that one, was pointing the wrong way. Yeah. You realize that thing's pointing the wrong way, correct? Well, well, you, Have you ever fix, seen it? They fix it. Well, the, they it there's, a, there's a new sign in my office, so I hope we can put it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> 
What's the sign <laughs> say? It says par for the course, and there's an arrow underneath it. So. It says Tim's, and it's pointing down. Uh, unless we're pointing it to the punting green. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to put two signs up there because the way the sign sits up underneath, you could just put a small sign underneath the bottom pointing the restaurant. There's a restaurant up in there. Yeah. Well, I mean, nothing, it doesn't have to be that big. It's just underneath where maybe the sign the next is now. Time, uh, next time you and I are the, at the course, you, we could take a ride there and you can show me. Okay, sounds like a plan. You're talking about the main entrance sign? Yeah, yeah the, the one right there on yeah. Southington Road. Yeah. 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 Right. What else you got, Billy? No, that's about it. Other than you know, we talked about a, a a plan for SIP money, uh, projects. Yeah, for the five years. We, we have a three, five, and we do have a plan, but you're right. That's to, it's to formalize. That's it. correct. It's really go by it and stick to that. Yeah. Well, it's a living document, so it can change at any point in time, right? Some sure. things, things happen, right? I mean, if I, you know, uh, the roller breaks or whatever, something, you know, you need to go out and fix that thing or get a new one, whatever. Yeah, well, you know. you're yes, that's correct. So, but that's I know, uh, that's yeah. something y'all been requesting, so I'll make sure to to have one for our next meeting. I started to talk about at least this year in my newsletter that's coming out where obviously we talked about the bridge and bunker projects, but you know, something phase one for number two, like in the fall. So um, we're putting a lot more effort to thinking ahead and writing it down. And I was seeing the last meeting, you know, you guys are more than, I asked you guys to come up with some ideas. So you're more than welcome to shoot those ideas over and um, see where we all stand on those things because, you know, it's important to use it properly, obviously, because it's not like it's a unlimited fund. So um, I know like this year we're doing, you see the CIP money, you actually have to update it for encumbrances. It's only around 22. So the balance is probably around 13, 14. Um, so we have some projects already ready to go, like the number 16, um, we're scheduled to have that going in April. That's how much is that? 19 grand, 18 grand. So the rest of the encumbrances is really the three K for the clock and the rest of the money for the, the plaque. Okay. Uh, so is there a chance that I mean the course may not be open but is there a chance that the driver range could be open yeah for sure I mean <laughs> um, I should look at the grounds there and see if it's pickable I'm not sure okay. how well the golf balls are yet um, I know I plan on selling start selling uh, season passes on Wednesday so at least for the weekdays, I will. Uh, so maybe once we really have to base it on if we can pick the range or not. So if we feel like we can open it, we'll open it. I know um, the Coach Barnes from the high school team already stopped by and trying to see, you know, what our schedule is. I think the first time they can practice is on the 18th. So maybe I'll open it for them then. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, as far as the driving range goes, um, what about a automatic ball dispenser? You, know, you put a a coin in or something and just dispenses balls; it'll cut down on your labor. I can definitely. I'm definitely still into it. I know that idea is still like something I would like to do. I just don't know the timeline on. I mean, you say it is going to take away from labor. I actually think it we'll have to pick more like, cause it's going to be open later. So hmm. I'm just trying to think of, you know, what kind of labor it would need. I mean, Jimmy Green, you've seen our range. What do you think? Yes. It, it, I mean, yeah, you can do it, but like you said, it's good. People are going to be there all times of night of the hour and it's going to be dark and yeah, it could be a problem. 
That would mean like someone's got to pick early, you know, and late. So, and, and you got to be concerned with vandalism too, with the machine. That too. Exactly. Yeah, well, always, but I don't know how much, you know, how crowded we want to be like in the dawn it, times of the day. So, right. The, the, the problem we we have versus say Stanley or anything like that is, is the lighting, and we're, we're kind of it's dark. The light, I mean, exactly. it, it, it's yeah. that whole area. Right. It's, so yeah. it, it probably wouldn't be worth it to put a machine out there. To be I'm honest. curious to see how the okay. range. I'm curious to see how the range does this year. You know, uh, obviously it, it it was a good base for 23 to see what 24 does, and you know if we need to find a way to increase range revenue, I mean, maybe that's something we talk about. You know, in the future, but you know, right now the way it went last year, I thought was pretty good. Where Staff was able to handle it, and it was still pretty busy. So, sounds good. All right, golf course report. We went over um, most of it. You kind of, you kind of went through a lot of it. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Ridge bunkers. Ridge bunkers. The clock. The clock. The clock. The clock. The clock. The clock. Clock. Uh, we had a get Miss Gail and I had a conversation about it today. We're still on time for some time in April. <laughs> uh, I'll get the base in once the the soil is not so cold. So that probably in the next couple of weeks. So okay. nice. Um, we got a question for Mark. Right. Hey, Mark. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's go to March report. I haven't seen him. Right. You know what? I, I didn't get a chance to look at his. I didn't say what well, that, that, well, I was that, that, I got a very small report. Right. <laughs> the off season. Okay. Uh, you know, I just update on, I've been contacting all the leagues in the outings, sending them the contracts and everything. And uh, surprisingly, we, we picked up a new league. I don't know how we fit it in, but we did on Thursday nights. Um, and then we picked up three or four outings that really? are going to be at least 72 players or more new outings. Nice. That people, they, they weren't anywhere else. They're just starting a tournament. So, yeah, we should have left an extra buck, like I said, but no, no, I, no. I, well, <laughs> it's, uh, I think we're going to have an okay year <laughs> with the outings. Hopefully the weather. You know, the weather, the weather, 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 weather dependent. We know last that. year, I've never seen anything like, you know, in terms We of, said that the year before, too. But well, you're right. on well, outing days, we've never had to. Oh, oh. scheduled many outings at the yeah. end of last year. So hopefully that's a little better. Mm -hmm. um, I went through the Timberland website just to update the things that needed updating. Um, I registered our junior league team, and I'm starting to get together all the uh, youth programs and adult, you know, uh, player development programs. We got a newsletter. So I'm not sure when that's coming out, but I think March. I think tomorrow. There's um, our monthly newsletters coming out yeah. that our marketing team does. Um, so I wrote up a newsletter for that. Uh, in terms of the championship sign that you know uh, Donna Bobe and both coaches have been working on, we've hit our goal and then some financially. So we're we're on time as far as I know for an April first unveiling of it. Um, so um, I know there's still some work to be done, but at least in terms of the funding for it, we hit our goal. So um, we're happy about that. Uh, in terms of the golf shop, I've popped in a few times to start cleaning up a little bit um, and getting ready, you know, to put all displays out and everything. They just put up new slot wall in the golf shop. So the boards that were on the walls, you know, a lot of them were falling apart. The town put up a uh, new slot wall, which is great. Um, so other than that, I mean, I'm staffing, but I've contacted the staff and most of them are, are wanting to come back. So. Uh, you'll see a lot of the same faces there as well. But uh, if you have anything for me, please let me know. Seven. Yeah, hey, Mark. Mark, yeah. Uh, we got uh, Masters coming up pretty soon. Do we have anybody uh, qualifying for, uh, you know, to drive, chip, and putt for <laughs> the juniors? Oh, no. Unfortunately, we had, I mean, three three kids from Timberland made it to the fi regional final. This was back in September. And the winner of that gets to go to Augusta. They didn't, none of them won it, the regional final. So uh, we don't have anybody there. Um, so unfortunately, you don't have a lot of the live golfers there either. 
Uh, that won't be the I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. But, uh, yeah, I'm sure you still watch though. Hey Mark. Hey, Mark. Yes. Uh, congrats on your PGA Junior League award in recent time. Uh, all the hard work you've yeah. done, way to get recognized on cool. that. Thank you, thank you, man. I would say team effort. I mean, the thank town you. of Berlin has had a long-standing tradition of junior golf long before I was even there. Um, strong junior golf programs and competitive junior golfers. So, I mean, our job is to continue the tradition and, you know, we do the best we can, but the town definitely supports it, which is great. Thank you, Saul. I, I get, I, Jimmy asked a question to me real quick. I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, but I was approached by someone else, too, and then – how can I say this without hurting anybody's feelings? Um, the, the plaques on all the walls coming into, into the clubhouse, it's like, all right, I mean, I don't think there's an inch of space left, right? So what do we do? Well, well I mean, I'll just – let me, let me yeah. just chime in. So TPC, I know we're not TPC. They just built that big clubhouse. But one of the things they did that's really modern is they put it all on a TV. Like there's like a touch screen to where it's like, okay, men's club winners, club championship all these years, and they can like go through it, which, I mean, that's the modern way to do it. Yeah. So – I don't care whether it's, you know, repetitive or not. I, I don't care. But we got to do something about that. That stuff is just well, out It looks of really busy upstairs. Oh, my like, busy. Now, I mean, it's like. It looks like, really busy. You know, you look a hoarder. No, I know. That's the old school, that was the old school uh, way. You know, yeah. You yeah. Boards. Yeah. 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 yeah, we a lot yeah, of those we, plaques. We actually had a discussion at our board meeting. We we're open to some suggestions because we agree with you. It really looks. Um, they're just it's tacky. so many different sizes, shapes, whatever. So if yeah. there's a, a suggestion, um, we would welcome the opportunity to discuss that. Because the, the men's club just put a new TV in, it, and like Mark said, that would be the best thing to put up here. And then you take yeah. that all down and make it look nice and neat when you come into. And then the those people are yeah, still alive. Just put new updated boards that are just the club champions for each. So it's like very simple. It's not like. No, just, I mean, I like what you said. You know, listen, if, if you were up there, fine. You know what? Just get a TV or something like that. Get the thing going. You know, that, and it just makes sense. CPC yeah, yeah. has like a touch screen. There's like two or two of them, and you can actually go hit men's club button. I don't care about like, that. Just, well, you know, well, I mean, look at like the. Yeah. Who's one what? Yeah. Well, well, just have like, app it's app interact. It's uh, That's okay. what it is. It's like interact. Who the hell? I wouldn't even know what to ask. You know, you know, just if you have the thing, just shows up. You know, yeah, you if you sit that. there, you know, if you're having yeah. the bag, uh, you know, whatever. Well, oh, this guy won that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Put a fresh, put a fresh coat of paint on there and make it look really nice. I know. Really. Yeah. We look. We I mean, do look like. It'd be nice something to put up there. Yeah. Yes. I'm in full agreement. But if anybody got to get the clubs. If anybody's still alive that's, that, that is on there, they can have the plaque. Right. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm, still, I'm on there, and I'm still alive. Well, for now, you are. I don't know. You're in a dark room over there. I don't know what the heck you're doing. Well, I, I'm, out, I'm outside. Yeah. You can oh. see. I know. All right. Open, All right. open to ideas uh, and discussion. Good. I, we're all, You know what? Good. We, we think, I'm glad we think alike, man. We do. So that's very good. Go we'll update the, the uh, Timberland website. We're still I mean, I, 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 I need to, to like the schedule. Okay. I know I got. Oh, that's that's one more question I have to ask. Yeah. The Lady okay. Niners, they sent me their schedule. Like, I put the updated yeah. schedules yeah. for each club up there. But if any there's any changes that need to be done, they can just contact me direct and I can. Do, does, the, the, does the commission have to approve the schedules? Do we have to approve the schedules? Because we did in the past. We have. I I'm not, I don't know yeah, the purpose. I know we have in the past, right? I don't know yeah. why we need to, but. Well, if you want I, it's to, just starting to start. I mean, yeah. you know, I don't know if we're past that point, the point of no return this year, but going forward, because it's like, are there too many? I mean, you have to start looking at this stuff and say, listen, you know, is there a balance that we need to reach? And I know that certain people are going to have wear different hats when it comes to that, because they're going to say, hey, listen, you know, it's, it's affecting me now. You know, it's like. But it's just something to think about. But it's also it's keeping it. <coughs> yeah, and, and, and Jim, to your point, Jim, the reason we looked at it in the past 
And I'm going back to, to what was on Park and Rec, the Golf Commission, is to make sure that there wasn't any conflict between different uh, the, the ladies' club, the men's club, the seniors, or somebody else having a mm -hmm. tournament on the weekends. And a lot of the focus back when it was on Park and Rec was pertaining to uh, the weekend play, all right, that there wasn't any conflict out there. Uh, just trying okay. to avoid any, uh, you know, complaints coming in the door. And, that, and that's why it was brought to the attention of the uh, commission. And it was basically just to review it and, uh, you know, sign off on it, you know, and make sure that it was okay. So Very maybe, it's, so, is that, maybe, it's, maybe it's not a bad idea okay. going forward. So going forward, let's, 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 can we make note of that? That's all. I mean, I'll send everybody just an email just so you have it. Thank you. If there's any questions. Maybe. I got a question for you on that, too. Yeah. All right. Um, anything else? We go to the order. Can I make a motion to adjourn? All right. So, well, I second it. There you go. On, all in favor? Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Thank Good. you, everyone. 723, we're adjourned. So, so take some adjourned. chicken soup. Yeah. Chicken Thanks, soup. Jerry. Yeah. Yeah, better, take care, guys. everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like turtle soup, man. That's good stuff. Yeah.